Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Craft Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with a lovely simple project, but I think it's so effective. I really love how this turned out. There are pockets that you can pop into your junk journals as free floating pockets, yeah? Or you can attach them to a page. I'll be putting mine on the back page of this journal here. So I'll just show you. I will be gluing it on three sides which will then give me another pocket. Oh, I'm knocking my paper trimmer on the floor. <laughs> another pocket behind to pop something else in, yeah? So one pocket there, then there'll be another one behind, and you've got an easy little double pocket. These were inspired by my friend Cheryl over at Crafty Shamrock Designs, and I think they're amazing. Cheryl made hers with plastic bags, like the ones that you like package cards with and I was looking for some and I came across these CD envelopes and I thought oh I wonder if I can use these and yeah it worked out lovely so let's crack on and make some right pop them to one side first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paper trimmer I've got little bits I've got glittery bits and stuff <laughs> my desk whenever you're using anything uh, transparent like this it's going to show up all them bits right mine have got like a lip on the top so i'm going to cut that lip off with a paper trimmer use your scissors use whatever you want Whee. goodbye lip do you know the first one cut really good that one didn't cut as easy let's try a third one maybe i've just been a bit of a numpty can you see? Yeah, you can see. I think it was because I got it exactly on the crease. There you go, that cut easier. So now we've got two cuts. If you wanted to make these with only the front see-through, like say you wanted to back the back with a full book page, which you can, you could just fold that lip down and glue it and you'd have an extra thick lip. A thick lip? <laughs> yeah, that's what we all need, isn't it? A thick lip. I don't... <laughs> Where I'm from, I don't know if this is UK or just Yorkshire or if it's worldwide. A thick lip is when someone's punched you in mouth and you've got your lip swells up. That's a thick lip. Oh, my word. So, yeah, no real thick lips. Anyway, let's get making. So, I've cut my flaps off too and... You'll see that I did put, you should say you'll see, it's, it's see-through, I'm showing you see-through stuff and it's hard to see. I keep tilting it to the window so you can see it glare a bit. I've cut a semicircle. Now if you try and cut plastic like this in a semicircle, it's not going to work. Your punch is going to get all, um, yeah, it's going to get all stuck in your punch. But if you just grab a piece of card, I'm going to grab a few pieces of card stock I can later turn into pockets in my journals. And I'll show you how I did it. I might have showed you this before. It works if you want to die cut vellum or punch vellum. So I'm just going to place that there. I'm a, no, I'm going to place that on the outside. You want the cutting edge of the punch. No, I am going to place it on inside. Oh, wow. Do I know what I'm doing? It's one of them. Blind leading blind again. You want the cutting edge of the punch to go into the cards, into the plastic first. So I'm going to pop the smaller edge of my punch inside, like so. If I turn it over, you can see better. Yeah. So line your bit of card up again, woman. Line it up. And then that looks a bat in the middle, doesn't it? And chomp. There you go. We've got... A notch punched in there. I'll do the other one before I forget how I do how I'm doing it. You know me. I've got a three second memory like a goldfish. Put that in there. Da -da -da. Yes, put it in there. Get rid of that semicircle. Pop that in there. Turn it upside down so you can see better. So I do I really do have to turn myself through everything, I'll forget what I'm doing. Punch, there you go. I don't mind if it's different size on them both. They're not going to be side by side in the same project. Now they're just ready to be pockets on journals. I'll pop them back in my little scrap box. Now, this part here, I tried making one 
by getting my paper scraps and gluing them straight on and it came off. I think the CD envelope I've used is so smooth they, they, yeah, the glue just didn't want to stick. So what I did is I grabbed an emery board or sandpaper, anything you want and I just went around the edge where I'm going to be sticking paper and just roughed it up a little bit. Yeah. There you go. And it just gave it a little bit of a key. You can use clear gesso, but I don't want to have to wait for clear gesso to dry, do I? No, I'm impatient. I want to do it now. It had no problem sticking where the uh, sealed part was, because they've been like... If you've ever seen the We Are Memory Keepers sealing tool, whatever it's called, you can seal plastic like that. You can. If you want to make your pockets narrower, cut a bit off. Should, especially this one that I've sewed around you can make it with any two bits of plastic if you don't have a pocket get two bits of plastic if you're going to sew yeah there's lots of possibilities lots of slightly different ways you can do these so I'm just roughing up the edges where I want to stick I hope you can see that where I want to stick my bits of paper and I've just grabbed some random book pages so random. I did, did get a couple of pages from my dictionary. But I am to have got a bag of random scraps here. That I will have, I'll have just picked these up off desk after making something else and shoved them all in here together. Uh, never to be seen again. Right, I think I'm going to fold this dictionary page in half to start with. And I'm just going to tear down like this. Because what will then happen is I've got two other torn bits ready to put on other projects. And they'll just go in my scrap box. Cut it. You don't have to use torn bits. You don't have to use continuously long bits there like I have. Oh, I like that. And you could pop that one on and just fold it around. I'll show you that's how I did it on the others. Because I know I was going to stick it to a book page they're just straight it didn't bother me that they were straight and I just glued that on there like so this time that I want my paper to something. come can you say yeah. it again no I don't know what I said love I've no idea Gertrude I often miss things I know what feeling I know what feeling I can sympathize Sorry, I don't know that it's all right love go back to sleep there there don't know what that was all about. No idea what I said to uh, wake her up. <laughs> I do love you, Gertrude, really. Someone said I need to be more kind to you, Gertrude. So, yeah, good night, darling. Anyway, sure up waffling, get back on with project. So I'm using bits of book page that go slightly further in, just because I want to. Right. I think I want to cut this top bit off straight as well. So I'm going to cut that bit off flush. And there I have my first bit that I'm going to stick. Before I stick it, I think I'll link the edges a bit. There we go. That's the ink tool I'm using. Let's try and put things we're using on camera, yeah. Really helps people see what you're doing, that love. Whee. I've inked the bottom edge, even though it's probably not going to show because I'm going to cover it up with another bit of paper. And I link the back just in case I don't end up sticking this one in as a pocket. I might leave this as a free floating one attached with a paper clip or whatever. I suppose it's a good you could put a greeting card in this. Yeah, or if you're using as I use the postcards, if you're using that as a greeting card, this could be your greeting card for someone's birthday. That would be nice. But I think I want the other side matchy matchy. I'm in a matchy matchy mood. Matchy matchy. So do that. And I just I'm not gonna tear this exact same. I just wanna roughly do it ish same. Ish same. That's a new term. I mentioned doing a book of quotes in my last video. We all rubbish are coming out with. I could do a book of Julia Juliisms, that's what we could call them, Juliisms. Chameleonisms is very difficult to say. Right, I think this time I'm going to have the top flush and cut the bottom off. Now, I'm not throwing those away, I'm going to use those on my next one because I'll do my next one out of smaller pieces. But yeah, I thought this was a brilliant idea when I saw Shell do it. Uh, 
yeah, I have linked Cheryl's video, go and have a neb. Go and have a neb. I mean, you don't even have to use something see-through. You could just put these around the edge of any old boring paper bag, couldn't you? Just to jazz it up a little bit. You could fix a separate little pocket out front. That'd be nice. Yeah, oh, what's left in there? Oh, a bit of fabric. Won't be using that, I don't think. Right. Carry on inking, woman. Try and do and talk at the same time. I know it's classed as multitasking and it's not your... Yeah, your forte at minute. Whee. Oh, I can hear kids outside. I think they're just passing, so I'm not going to bother shutting my window. It is a bit warm today. If they get a little bit noisier, I'll shut the window. I can live with that much noise. Right, now I glued mine on with art glitter glue. I decided what best glue I'd got. Try other glues, see if it works. I mean, you, if it peels off, you can just start again with something else. You can, you just can. Now I'm going to put some glue here. You don't even have to sew around these on the sewing machine. And then I'm going to put the rest of glue on inside her ear. Not too near edge because we're sticking it onto a flat, smooth surface. I don't want it to all squidge out and go all over me. Little clear pocket. Right. Yeah, this is, I'll tell you when I bought these. What I really wanted, there was a brand of uh, bags for storage. A lot of people use for storage in the US, card makers. I'd seen my favourite YouTuber use them, and now I forgot a name. <laughs> oh my word, from my favourite one when I did cards. So that's that, that's stuck. Let's do the other one. Got Avery L was the brand, and they're very expensive over here. And yeah, I bought these instead. I like the size anyway. I do still have some dies in them, but I've since moved on to a system of little magnetic storage boxes. I'm not going to do that. Hmm. We'll pop that on. There we go. If it sticks up too high, like mine does, you can always come in and trim it again, don't panic. Right, so I've got the front stuck, I like it, and I'll just flip it over to do it back. That's what I found a bit easier. Rather than trying to put glue on two sides, I can be a bit of a clumsy nightmare with stuff like that. Glue everywhere. I'd have probably got my finger still stuck inside it. That's that one. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I feel like I'm, I don't know. I feel like I'm looking for a new comfy position all over again when we're crafting. Maybe I am, maybe I isn't. So that's that one. And for the bottom, I've got some of these pages from an old typewriting book. I do love that. I really like that. If you've never learnt to do typing, I did. You used to get these books and that was like written in it's written in cursive isn't it? it was your job to translate it and type it oh, I'm never right good at that I'm really really rubbish at reading cursive writing I can't read my own kids writing sometimes because they learn cursive at their school that was something a lot of parents complained about when they got a new headmaster who were gonna we're going to do cursive handwriting we're a bit po we're a bit posh and we're not in a right posh area <laughs> but I'm so glad he did because it was really nice. I'd not seen cursive handwriting since my mum's. My mum was born in 1929. So she went to school at a time when, yeah, most kids did do stuff like that. Oh, I really like that. So I'm going to cut this off before I glue it. You could glue it, then cut it. But then if you make a mess with cutting, You'll have to stick some other paper on to cover it up. Oh, that's really nice. You can make this with any old scraps, as you'll see. The next one I make, I'm going to use use all my scraps. You don't have to use long, fresh sheets of book page like this. Well, I know, especially beginners. I know people say they've not always got a lot of scraps. A lot of projects you see people use with scraps, you can make your own scraps, get some paper you know you're never going to use, future scraps as I call them, and tear them up, make your own scraps. 
we've made some scraps here haven't we tearing these up right i'm gonna put my Whee. now one thought i did have about if this starts to come off and doesn't stick properly i've just put my finger in glue that doesn't help does it I'm determined to get a finger in these. Yeah, I've I've got my stapler out. What you could do, what's that? Oh, it's Ender's shoelace. <laughs> you could pop a staple in. If you're doing very near the edge, it's not going to affect how much. Uh, yeah, it's not going to affect the width of your pocket too much. You could put your staple in and then pop, set like that, another piece of paper over it. Yeah. So don't don't be put off doing this if you don't think you've got glue that will stick. I know Cheryl used a Scotch permanent glue stick, and that stuck lovely to her paper bags. Uh, sorry, plastic bags. So yeah, right. Flip that over and glue the back one. And they are really quick to do. I'm obviously making mine slower while I explain a few things and um, rabbit. Yeah, I've got my rabbit and Sainsbury's. Chaz and Dave, song called Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. Look it up, Google it. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I think you people in other countries will think it's funny. Oh, I've gone, I've put that on back to front, so my writing's upside down. But do you know what? I'm not going to have a nervous breakdown about that these days. Back in the day, I would have been like, oh no, I need to do it again. Yeah, it's these clear things. It's really hard to see which is front and back. Right here. Just, I just keep making sure that's not stuck because my front pocket is a bit lower than my back one and just get rid of You can tear that paper off if you want. I like the look of it being flush. I really do. There's a little bit where there's nothing, the paper's not stuck to anything. Or maybe, I don't know, perhaps get an extra little bit of paper like this and stick it. Now if you could stick that there just to strengthen that top edge I suppose like so in fact yeah I think I'm going to do that that's a good idea woman because no one is going to see it and if you do the world will not indeed end my favourite saying lately the world is not going to end can you see I'm just going to pop that in there that straight edge flush with the straight edge at the top there we go and that's just strengthened this little bit here yeah yeah that's a good i'll do it with the one after we'll pretend i've already done it right so that's that now shell did a bit of stamping and she used some lovely botanical images to decorate hers um and you could do that go across and have a look at her video see how she did it what I've decided to do is just keep my decorating a little bit minimal because I wanted to use these yummy, gorgeous, beautiful postcards inside. So the feature for me is the postcard that's in the pocket. See what I mean? Yeah, and I don't want to go and make it too busy around the outside. Then I'm quite happy with it like that. But I do want to just jazz this little bit up and I've chose some little Tim Alt snippety things. You can use digital, use anything you want. These just happen to be the first things that came to hand. And I also used a little bit of washi tape. Yeah, I've got this one. It's a botanical one. Please don't ask me where it's from. I honestly don't know. I really don't know. If it's from Amazon, it will be on my Amazon um, storefront. I've started being good now. When I buy something, if I use it and I like it, I will then go and add it to my Amazon storefront. So I'm going to just tear that bit of washi tape off. I did find washi tape stuck quite good to that. And pop that on. I always burnish my washi tape with a bone folder. I think it makes it stick better, less likely to come off. But remember, we're making junk journals. If it does come off, I'm sure the person can just pop a bit more glue under it. Who receives it? There we go. So that's that. And I'm just going to put a few little tickets on just for a bit of something. Oh, I've got a mushroom. Oh, I've got a 
postcard that's got a mushroom in. So I'll save that for a mushroom one. Mushrooms and foon guy. Foonji. <laughs> Don't even go there with foonji. Foongi, foongi. Shall I show these that I'm rifling in? Yeah. We can rifle together. I've got a pack there and open. Again, I think, yeah, I got this out to show you. It is the the pack I'm using mainly. There are others in that aren't from this pack. What's it called? Ephemera pack, an eclectic collection of printed memorabilia. That's it. The actual title's on front, isn't it, woman? Ephemera pack snippets, curator. But when I'm nearly empty, I'll just tip another pack in. That's that's how I'll go with these two malts. They all work lovely together. Oh, I like that one that says dance. That's nice. And I feel I want a round one. I really do. That blends in too much. Oh, I've got a clock here. Time to dance. I think I need something a bit uh, brighter. I'm really faffing with these, aren't I? I? Do you know, I picked the others out when I weren't uh, on camera. And like, like, yeah, that's it. Just stick that there. Now I'm like taking all day about it. Just ink one and stick it on. What does Tim say? It's the right one because you chose it and you put it there. Don't spend all day looking for the perfect embellishment. It is the perfect one because you said so. One, two, three... Yeah, I want that clock there. I really do. That's humour. And I think I want something thinner at the bottom. So here I go. I've just said don't spend all day looking for perfect embellishment. Chuck the ones I've picked back in and I'm looking again. That's what I wanted. But now I don't want it. I want an orange, something orange to match that butterfly. That's the one. Perfect. <laughs> Don't spend all day looking for perfect embellishment. And then I do spend all day looking for perfect embellishment. There you go. It says that it's... What did my mum used to say? Do as I... It's do as I say in this house, not do as I do. Yeah, it were. Because we were kids and... My mum and dad were the adults, weren't they? So sometimes you had to do as they said, not as they did. So... Yeah, we'll pop you there. Let's have you near bottom. Oh, yeah, that goes lovely with that butterfly. I'm really happy with that one. I like it. You could put something up top. I could even put an eyelet. If I'm keeping this as a tuck in, I'd put an eyelet there and a charm, probably. I'm really happy with that one. I like it. These were such a fabulous idea, Shirley Whirly. Right, let's have another go at one. So I've got the pocket, the other pocket there that I chopped the top off. I'm just looking for my postcard that I took out of that one. Just pop back in, yeah. Because I did choose my embellishments to coordinate with the postcard. Can you see why I made my paper a little bit wider on this one? Just so that it just fit the postcard. I mean, use something square. I just thought they looked nice in that. Right, this next one, I'm going to use lots of scraps to glue on edges. I'm still going to go ahead and rub it down with my emery board. So, here we go. And like I say, you don't have to sew. Sew my first one. I haven't got room to get my sewing machine up on the table while I'm filming. With all my tranquilments around me. And I, I, my, I don't find a good angle to use my sewing machine. And I can't turn the light off. And there's a really big gap where the light is and it just glares on camera. I suggest if you want to learn how to sew, and I'm not doing... <laughs> this sounds really sarcastic and facetious. Watch a sewing tutorial. But yeah, watch a sewing tutorial. There's loads of people out there, Gorham. I do. I am really bad at forgetting between changing my bobbin and the bottom how to do it. So I'll have to find a video on how to change my bobbin ready to do it every time I clean my machine as well I'm really bad at that not remembering things simple things like that right let's grab some of those scraps that I tore off last time and let's apply some of them to this one because this is going to be a much scrappier one just to show you that Sorry, you don't have I to don't know that. 
You don't know much today, do you? She's really, really wanting to go in on act today, isn't she, our Gert? For anyone out there who doesn't know, Gert is my uh, Amazon device beginning with A or A L E X A. We don't want to say it because we'll activate it. Although I don't know why I'm being precious because she's not shy about chiming in, is she? No, sorry, she ain't. There we go. Oh, yeah, anyone who's uh, interested in what my little kitty cat's been up to, Nala, she's now on her third collar. Mm, it might be more expensive to keep her in collars than uh, food, the rate she's going at. She'll keep them on. She's fine with them for days. Then she'll just appear with no collar. Mm. I don't know whether she's getting them off or whether she's fighting and other cats are taking them off. But she didn't come back with any injuries, so she's fighting. She's a top dog, isn't she? Or top cat. Top cat. <laughs> no, I want to watch that cartoon now. Oh, yeah, so she's on collar number three. So they're lasting one to two weeks per collar. So I think I'm going to need to buy myself a giant sack of collars. Right, I'm going to use... Let's decide which is definitely the front. That's the front, so I want the wider one at the front. Oh, I could pop it there. Oh, I'll pop it there, because then the plain bit will get covered up by some more text, yeah? Look, I don't, I don't even mind that they're not even. Because we're just using what we have for this one. And then I'll be into my scrap pile, folding over scraps of paper. See ya, Nala. She's a Houdini. I called it Soup Dragon yesterday and kids are like, well, why are you calling us Dragon? I'm like, no, it's the Soup Dragon because we tried her with this new cat food and it's called Cat Soup because she loves licking all the gravy up before she eats any of the chunky bits in her food. So I saw this cat soup and I thought, oh yeah, she's going to like that cat soup. And she absolutely loved it. So I'm like, oh, you little soup dragon. And for any of you who don't know who the soup dragon is, this one's turning into an education in English slang and TV, isn't it? You know what a thick lip is now. <laughs> soup dragon was in a children's uh, television programme called The Clangers. Uh, yeah, so again, if you don't know who The Clangers are, Google them. They're just the fabulous. If you do know where The Clangers are, boop, boop, boop. That's my impression of a clanger. Clangers didn't speak English. They had to have a narrator so that you knew what on earth they were on about. I suppose it's a bit like some of you listening to me who have to put the subtitles on because you can't tell what I'm saying. <laughs> I, although I am not a clanger, I have often been known to drop a clanger. I drop lots of clangers. Right, let's grab some more bits of paper. I've got all these here. Oh, I've got some digi ones there. I don't mind mixing digital and uh, non-digital. It's a bit dark that though, so I do mind. Change my mind. I like that. That's a piece of a diary. And I like how we've got the days. So I think we'll have... Yeah. No, I, I wanted to do this in pieces. I'll have a day on each side. Oh no, other day won't show, will it? Oh, I'll just have Friday. Friday will do. I'll put another piece of paper on. Got some regular book page. What's that one? Ooh, that's got mushrooms on. Ooh, look, I've got some A to Z. We'll have a bit of A to Z. Just want to make it interesting. Bit of music paper. Ooh, another bit of A to Z. It's looking good. Bit of check paper. Yeah, me like it. A bit of stripy paper like that. That's definitely an Artie Mays one. So you, you just can't tell. Artie Mays, yeah. She has a shop doing digitals on Etsy. She also has a YouTube channel and a Facebook group. I'll have that bit. It's already inked for me that as well. Oh, I'm so lazy, aren't I? I think I'm going to put that at the top. Yeah, I like that. I'm still, I'm still working right way around. 
I should have put a post-it note on here saying front. But the other one still worked out okay. Like I said, I can live with writing being upside down now. At one time, it would have been like, oh no, let's just shred it and start again. It's like I've grown up a little bit. <laughs> Not grown up, but it's like, yeah. Yeah, I've uh, had a reality check. That's it. I've had a reality check. I like that. Mama's had a reality check. I came from a very regimented world of making cards and um, mini albums where everything is, as I always say, everything's lined up to within an inch of its life. Well, the one tutorials I'd followed and the ones I've been making for years were well, like you're mattering and laying on your mattering. What's mattering? I ain't got a clue. Does it matter? Matting and layering where you leave an eighth of an inch gap between each layer and it's got to be, oh yeah. And I brought that into my junk journals with me. And it has its place, they look good. But I'm a bit like, oh, I can't be bothered now. I'm just going to rip it. And that's from watching other people and just doing it and wanting to get on with it. Put a little bit there. It's nice to be able to turn scraps into something pleasing to the eye, shall we say. Although I do think these are quite gorgeous. I really like them. That's that. that. Look, I've done that. I didn't mean to do it like that. It looks like I've regimentally done four corners. I didn't. I didn't, honest. I didn't intend to do it. I think I want a bit more map page there, or do I? Should I put a bit of... Yeah, I'm going to put a bit of... And I still can't resist folding that dead on that crease, you know. Can you see? Crazy lady. You is a crazy lady. I just have a waffle about, oh, I love everything to be all ripped and, yeah, random now. And then it's, oh, let's just tear a straight line directly along the edge of that line. Yeah. It's a constant battle. It's not a battle or a struggle. It's just some, uh, I like the look of it when it's more random. So I try and make it more random. My natural tendency is to line it all up perfectly. And because I like the look of it when it's not lined up perfectly, I'm trying to be a bit more random in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like that in my housekeeping. Don't all always all have to be lined up perfectly. It's like, oh, I really can't be bothered to wash pots after tea. I'll wash them tomorrow. Right, that's that. And just grab some and stick it down, woman. Just grab some of it. I don't want that normal book page. It's too near to that book page. So here I am faffing. I can be discerning with my scraps if I want to be. <laughs> discerning, is that what I'm doing? Or am I being picky? Am I faffing? I could be faffing. I just, I don't know. Faffatha. My name is Julian. I'm a serial faffer. Oh, just stick a book page on. And then I get to the point where I just stick it on, it'll do. There you go. Whee. Oh, I've got another top tip for you as well. My daughters are home from school, so this may <laughs> this may upset teenagers with an earshot, but it's just too funny not to. I had a top tip for my daughter this morning when she couldn't find her homework. If you put your homework so <laughs> Somewhere where you know it is, somewhere where you know where it is, you'll be able to find it. Yeah. Didn't take Sherlock Holmes, did it, to cut with that one? And I can now see why she looked at me like, shut up, mother. Anyway. She's now got one Monday to hand in said piece of homework. It's mad, though. She was doing this homework last night on the sofa. I saw it. She was then showing me all the bits and bobs in a history book and show me all the test scores and everything and then the homework disappeared well it hadn't disappeared like i first said to her and that really didn't help it didn't help did it if you've got a teenager or had one my first thing well when i can't find it well, well it's not vaporized has it of course it's not vaporized but that really didn't help did not help at all i've been very unhelpful 
sometimes it's like, oh, how on earth did she lose it? How on earth? Yeah, she's probably got steam coming out of her ears now if she can hear me. Oh, she'll find it. We get some glue on there, a little bit on there. Exercise 23, that says. That's from my typewriting book. But I, I, you can see what I mean. They're holding out a little bit. So I know I've not stuck any on back yet. So it's just how I like to do it. I think I do want a bit more of that uh, A to Z thing. Yeah, I do. I'm going to be a rebel and have a straight piece. Whoa, look at that. A straight piece among all those torn edges. How very dare I? Kids, they're just passing again. No need to shut window. Right, that's my last piece. Really do like these. And if you weren't faffing and you weren't waffling, you could make another easy mass make these would be. I know Cheryl's been coming up with some quite um, quick ephemera lately because she's doing a project. I'm, I may have got the amount wrong here. She's making 15, she's making 15 journals for a retirement home for the residents, which I think is brilliant. She's not selling them to them. She's making them and donating them. So... There you go, nice one, Cheryl. So she's been coming up with some nice, easy ephemera ideas to put in some of these journals. Right, that's good. So I'm just going to go all along here. Put these down one at a time. This is why I did front them back after. Because I found that much easier when I was doing the ones in bits. That first one. So don't go too mad with glue on being more I'd rather not put enough on and then have to put some more on with this than have all glue squidging out onto my acetate bits. Whee. I meant to do that one first. But you can see the glue, can't you? It's not squidged out. There we go. I mean, yeah, that's the back, but it could so easily be the front. But well, that's the front. So I want to put the postcard in that has the mushrooms on because then I can use the little Tim Holtz mushrooms to do the decorating on the edges. There it is. Yummy, these postcards. I'm very good at hoarding things, me. And the, this set of postcards was Happy Mail. I think, yes, they were from Sylvia. So thank you so much, Sylvia. The yummy. I love them. Woohoo. Right, get your Tim Holtz bits and bobs. Watch me not be able to find a mushroom. Oh, I've found an even bigger one. I don't think that's a Tim Holtz one, though. No, I don't. I don't like that one next to that one. I just don't. I'm sorry, but I don't. Here we go. We've got a different colour mushroom. Yeah, I like that got the red ones there and we've got the grey ones there I want something red to decorate with that's the wrong tone of red so is that that one goes a bit better I think with my mushrooms so I'll be sticking that bit on I'll stick a bit of the washi on again and then I want a tickety type one tickety oh I like that one it says number 36 on it and now I've dropped it and I can't find it can you still see me? We've gone a bit dark. Let me just check my lighting. It did go a bit dark, didn't it? I didn't realise. Oh, wow, I've blinded you with the light now. That's better. <laughs> I'm talking in song titles today. I keep coming up with quite a few. Blinded by the lights. Be -do -do -be -do -be -do -be -do -be do be do be do I don't know what words, so we're doing doobie doo. Yeah, I'm going to use those three. And I'm also going to use a little bit of the washi tape. In fact, I might use a different washi tape. I've got this one with tickets. But then it, it doesn't have to match others, but then it does. 
yeah, use the same one. And I might put it on that side, might put it on that side. No, it needs to go on this side. Why have I gone all indecisive? It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, we'll have that that way. Oh, look, it's a pipe. <laughs> or is it a mini wooden watering can? Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Is it a pipe or a mini wooden watering can? By Jove, I think it's a pipe. Yeah, again, if you didn't watch it, I did a video recently where I thought that something on a book page was a mini wooden watering can. Yeah, and it turned out it was a smoking pipe made from the wood of the tree that was on the page. Oh. Uh, thank you for people who told me the error of my ways. What do I say? I quite often engage mouth before brain. I can't help it. It's in my DNA, I think. I just didn't see it. I'd be a psychologist's dream. What are they called? Do you know those... What are they called? Those pictures that are made up of ink splashes and dots. And you look at them and you've got to say what you see. I think it's be quite scary what I might see. I might see quite scary things. I don't want that one on anymore. I want something oval or round. Yeah, I want that one. Yeah, it's like, what's this one? Everyone else says a pipe and I'm like, it's it's a watering can. <laughs> wow. It's like those optical illusions. I do struggle to see what everyone else sees. I don't know if that's got something to do with where your brain works. But they'll say, I see so-and-so and I'll be like, no, I see something else. But really, I like, oh, I like that one. Right, let's bring the whole set back in now. So that's one, two and three. How oh, yummy are they? You've outdone yourself with this idea, Cheryl. I've not seen this anywhere. But we all say this now. It doesn't mean that no one's done it. We don't, I don't personally have time to watch every crafting video on YouTube before I come up with an idea. I just don't. We do, we're all going to come up with similar ideas. There is that saying, great minds think alike. But today, this idea came from Shirley Whirley. And I'll, what an idea, Shirl. I love those. I'll be proud to put those in any journal, stitched or not. I've not even decided if I'm going to stitch these or not. I, mean, I may then come in and put a bit of stamping on. I don't know. Do what you want with them. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the waffle as usual. And yes, I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.